Really, I got all these motherfuckers in the way. You hit me. You're... Where lights are going to get suspiciously smashed. I have no idea how that happened. I'll have a good suspicion. But I wouldn't know how it happened. The suspicion would be my hand. Still haven't got much of a front break there. Alright, so that. Let's do that. Oh, shite. This guy's a fucking asshole. Let's move out the fucking way. Fuck you, dog. Hmm. Anyway, so I have now. Fuck. My right hand wingmer is now looking at my fucking face because I forgot to fucking adjust it back. Dickhead. Well, I can. Selfies! Well, fuck you. Let's, uh. Get that at a usable angle. Oh, yeah, that's good. Going over a fucking pothole when you've got one hand on the bars. Whee! Health and safety. Pensioners. So, anyway, anyway, Christ, flamboyant, I, oh, it's been a while, I haven't done a motor vlog in a while, Yodel, you're a cunt, man, my voice broke then, that's just for fucking lulls, do 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 da 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 Should have planned ahead, really. I've got no idea what the fuck to talk about. Actually, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my topic for today. My topic for today is gonna be CBT. Is it worth doing a CBT? Well, start off. What is the CBT? Well, in the UK, the law states that if you're above the age of 16 and you wish to ride a motorcycle, then the cheapest option for you is to get a CBT. Now, CBT stands for Compulsory Basic Training. Now, this means uh, at the age of 16, you can hop onto a 50cc moped. And at 17 years old and above, you can have a 125 maximum. Both have the restriction that is, you must have L plates showing at all times. Not really much of an issue though, to be fair, because it's a fucking L plate. It's not like it's a fucking performing enhancing lug. Fuck you, Leaf! You cunt! Is it on me? No, it's not me anymore. Anyway, the CBT is £120, roughly. It varies depending where you are, what offers they have in place. Uh, some training schools have the difference that it will be cheaper if you use your own motorcycle, which ain't too bad. Now, 
why I think the CBT is a good little thing. Well, it's cheap. To get on a motorcycle, 125, just so you can commute back and forth to work, because 125 is more than enough to get you to and from work. As well as pleasurable riding on the weekends, if need be. I mean, want. Leaf! Get the fuck off my bike! Get the fuck off! God damn it. Now, where was I? Yes, that's right, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, I make myself laugh. Uh, yeah. He can't even decide where he's going. One, two, fives, they uh, are fun little bikes to ride. By no means the fastest, in fact, some of the slowest. Fuck even some 50cc mopeds are going to outdo your fucking 125. Unless you've got a sports, and maybe not. But, um... Yeah. They're still plenty of fun, because they can do corners quite well. So... The advantages of doing the, one, uh, the CBT. Unlike driving lessons, motorcycle lessons aren't really there. I mean, they're available, but people don't really do the lessons. They just do the license that they need, which would be like an intensive course, really. So it'd be like a couple of days and then push, lesson, test, way, pass, fail, fuck you. And that's it. So, yeah, it just, like screws you over. Well, it doesn't screw you over, you benefit from it, because if you pass, then hey, you got a license! So, yes. By doing the CBT, what this allows you to do is ride on the road. With a 125, getting used to the feel of a motorbike. Now you're going to be changing gears, off. but overall, it's going to help build up your confidence on riding a motorcycle. Now, if you do your full motorcycle test, say a year after you've done your CBT, so your CBT is still valid, then that means that that gets taken off the price of a full license. So for instance, I am going to be doing my direct access, which is the full motorcycle license. Um, I think that's like an EA, yeah, the A license. So the cost of the CBT is deducted. So, you're not going to be losing out. Now, what this has meant is that when I went to do my riding assessment, they like to see how well you can ride a bike, how controlled you are in your clutch, your throttle, your braking, your handling, and all the habits that you just tend to pick up while riding anyway. So you find that you're going to have a much better chance of passing your full test when you've already been riding around for about a year on a 125. Because it's just all habit now. Apparently for me, being in the right gear is not a habit. Would you look at that here, laddie? This looks like a pretty good spot for a photo shoot now, doesn't it? I think so. So I'm going to put up there. I'm going to put out the camera. And we're going to do some photos. So I'm going to turn off these cameras now. Turn off.
Send you off as well, shall we? Well, might as well turn this one off as well. The sneaky one.